going to be using this now. This came my way. Let's get the chains clean. Both of them together. Don't they sound nice? Okay, that was so the thing uh, works. Um, got a dark chain looking as good as new in no time. Two coats, I would have emptied about uh, one fourth of the can and uh, some brushing with a regular toothbrush. Um, my chain cleaning brush gave up, so I just used this and uh, quite clean, squeaky clean. Lovely. Yeah, plenty of videos online on how to go about cleaning your chain and lubing it. So skip that part. But uh, yeah, what a nice smell. Pleasant aroma. Lovely. It's the best smelling <laughs> um, chain clean uh, yet. Uh, so it's uh, Polyol, an Indian manufacturer. Um, they've sent this my way. Um, so we'll wait for some time. I've dried it nicely. We'll wait for some time and then go ahead with the lube. Hi, Phil has been back again. That is what came my way. So uh, it's called Polyol. A new player in the market. Desi player, Indian brand. And these guys are uh, starting to put out lubricants. Uh, nice logo. I like their logo. Quite interesting. Um, very easy uh, to recall. It has that industrial look and feel to it. Um, so, yeah. Two cans that uh, they sent my way just to test. I like the fact that they want somebody to test something. And not just go about making a video on it uh, before they have tested their products. So uh, uh, this video is just going to be application part of it. And we'll, uh, I'll make another video on how this has performed. Um, what I skipped was how to clean the chain uh, with the chain cleaner. Too many videos out there in the market, which uh, uh, on YouTube where you have people uh, cleaning the chain thoroughly. Um, you can use kerosene, you can use uh, WD-40, which I've been using on Ben for ages. All that Ben sees is a WD-40. That's it for both cleaning and lubricating. I do these short off-road trips and that's good enough. But uh, I just tried this on, on uh, the Sherpa's chain. And wow, that looks new, as good as new. It was a black chain from uh, the 23 day trip. And this fella turned it into a brand new chain now. Anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, two coats, one coat, let it sit for about three, four minutes, used a brush to clean uh, it. I mean, I've made a reel on Instagram for you guys to go and check out. So used a regular brush, toothbrush to clean uh, it. And then one more coat after, uh, uh, you know, scrubbing with the brush, letting it sit for another two minutes. One more coat of this and uh, dried it with a cloth. Of course, you can use an air gun uh, to clean uh, it even further, but uh, the chain looks beautiful. If you guys watch, as silent as it can get, love it. Um, so <laughs> surprisingly, this thing got my chain looking like brand new again. 
uh, we'll talk about the chain quality uh, in another video but uh, this is just going to be lubricating now uh, I also have been I've given uh, a nice coat of this on Ben scrubbed it with a brush now time to uh, see if uh, it's going to make the chain look uh, like new I let it sit for some time so uh, we'll just see Oh, all that grime this thing gathers yep, starting to work the gold chain the gold chain over time has turned copper so if you guys can see that's the difference in color um, yeah I'll work on it a little while later Meanwhile, let me just go and uh, uh, lube this fella up, the Sherpa. So, uh, the instructions is nothing unusual, very common, the same old uh, instructions. The chain has to be thoroughly rinsed and clean, and then uh, um, uh, the chain cleaner has to be applied to, the, to flush out all the debris, which I did clean and dry the chain completely, which is uh, the case now, it's almost dry. Uh, apply the lubricant at about 80 to 120 millimeters, so that will be roughly that distance. And then, uh, what else does it say? Uh, apply one round on the outside, that is this, and uh, one round on the inside, that would be this, on the rollers and then apply the lubricant and allow it to settle down for about five minutes wipe off the excess pretty straightforward um, nothing uh, like a big deal between the two cans this is about 180 grams um, and retails at 595 rupees which is like every other player in the market and the other one the chain clean is 120 grams retails at about 300 and something rupees um, i find the pricing to be fair um, because if you were to get this done in the uh, service stations, they would ask for all kinds of uh, uh, money. Uh, one chain lube and clean session will be uh, 500 rupees and not less. And uh, another thing is that, you know, you don't uh, get to do things on your motorcycle. Uh, somebody else is doing it for you. Uh, the best part of uh, owning a motorcycle is the maintenance experience, isn't it? Like when you get to maintain these two fellas. <laughs> You know, it's exercise that you enjoy uh, doing. So, um, cutting the whole story short, sorry that I stretched it. Um, let's give this a try. And uh, this brand has asked me uh, to cover a whole lot of parameters. They want me to uh, test each and every single aspect uh, about this uh, particular product. And I'm very happy uh, that they uh, did ask me to um, you know, first test and then uh, confirm about the quality of the product. Uh, it's just that I am doing it in two parts. Um, one is application, the other would be uh, uh, testing. So uh, let me just get done with this and we'll see. We'll have uh, the share part turned on. One coat on the outside. Very hard to get to the insides. Let me see if this, this helps. Yeah, that should do it, I guess. 